The surprise night attack earned them a decisive victory, and Nanitska slit the throat of a man who denied taking slaves. On the surface, this opening scene of the movie was a great demonstration of pathos against the racially motivated transatlantic slave trade. Their victorious return was greeted by the citizens of Dahomey at the city gates. Now here's the thing. Historically, the Ogoji themselves are also perpetrators of the very same practice of slavery that this movie intends to disavow. It's one thing to draw inspiration from historical atrocities to create something new. It's another to actually whitewash history and present it as something based on powerful true events as means to signal your virtue. Oh sure, it was a very fun and cinematic opening to a movie, with lots of pathos for sure. And it was a long journey to get this movie made, which the promotional tour have focused on. In 2015, actress, producer, and writer Maria Bello wrote the 